Um, we have sanded to finish rounding off the frets and then we are going to use the crimson rubber. Um, you can, again, you can buy these on the website. And these are up to. You can use across the top. Just take out those marks from the sanding and then we'll work in the edges and this one that works really well now I'll carry on all the way down the neck and you'll see us again in a bit. We've used the eraser and we've done the last stage of, of shaping and, and filing and it's called crowning. Yeah, crowning, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you very much boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're going to polish them up. So I've got some auto sole and I'm just going to buff them up, make them nice and shiny. The shinier the fret, the easier the guitar is to play. And it helps if it's pretty as well. It does help if it's pretty. It's you could do this with a machine and a buffing wheel and all that sort of stuff. But uh, having got rid of the, most of the scratches using the fret rubber, to be honest, a machine is overkill. I've, used, I've done both techniques and I prefer to do it auto sold by hand. I used to use a, a buffing wheel and my Dremel but I, I definitely prefer doing it by hand. I did that for years. Yeah. I just prefer the finish and the ease. I mean, it's no more difficult using the Dremel than it is doing by hand. And it's quieter by hand. <laughs> it certainly is. Peace and quiet. All done polishing. So let's strip all this off and see where we are. We have clean frets and success. And we also have, we also have a blank headstock. Now, this is very roughly, because I can't find the template, since the move, this is the headstock from our dissident model which, uh, well, I think is rather attractive and still relatively traditional, but, uh, yes. So there we go. Apprentice Howard is going to have to go and bounce all that now. So there we have it. Brett's done, headstock done, everything ready. We're gonna now go on and take the clamps back off the neck. With, I realised after the last little piece of video that I ended it with, we're going to take the clamps off the neck, which is obviously wrong. We're gonna take the clamps off the body. So I'm gonna take the first couple off and then we'll see how we go.
this has had like a few hours. Should be enough time for it to have at least cured enough. Take them off in an order that allows it to stay stood up as I work. So I don't have to fight with it. Um, so what we're going to do now is take the last couple off and then we will see how this top looks. There we go. And now our and there it is with the top. So that has gone from a little block of fairly cheap innocuous wood to have a very pretty top on. Next stage. Mm -hmm.